Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is the three amigos. We'll go to Dion first this time. How you doing, bud? Howdy, Mike. I'm doing great. I am ready for round five. Yes. And Matt, how are you? I'm super. I feel much better after the last video. Yeah, I knew you would, because based on those very angry and terse texts and <laughs> funny gifs or whatever the hell they're called, gifs. Uh, gifs, yeah. Uh, gifs, yeah. Uh, um, you were upset, but now you feel I was, better? I was mad. Well, I was mad. <laughs> Lumberjack <laughs> mad is a sight to see, folks. I got to tell you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what I want to do in this episode, because one of the things I know about the two of you and I know about myself is we really do what we do here every week to try to help people. Yeah. I believe the environment has shifted, a la video one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is, that is one of the many that we got. Uh, but again, helping people and the environment has changed. We've all changed what we're doing in our business. And we're very clear on that. But actually I have, I have some concerns, right? We, I, I help thousands of people a day now between, I have six or 7 million watches on my podcast, six or 7 million watches on YouTube, millions of people I'm trying to help. I actually have a couple of big concerns. So maybe we'll do one or two each, play ping pong. Sure. We'll just go around the table. I just want to get our concerns on the table. So people hear them uh, and hopefully they can mediate them. We'll go to you first, Dion. What's one of the current concerns you have about the next 18 to 24 months? Um, I don't know that it'll be related the way you were expecting. That's fine. Here's my biggest concern. Most of my life, and I think some, some of your guys' lives, we were dependent on a W-2 for income. If that W-2 went away, <laughs> life sucked. There are a lot of people in that position. Here, here's my, my concern because... I've never seen a rent decrease. If prices dropped, I wouldn't care. Um, work is completely optional. My concern, and don't take this wrong, is our inability to get this information to more people, mm. that this is one of the most exciting markets. This next year, I think, is going to be one of the funnest times for me to be able to, for us, to be able to teach people how to find a motivated seller and take action and make work optional. And I, I feel like, we are interacting with people. There are people who come to all three of our live streams and you can see them interacting and you can see them talking about their deals who are going to do this. My, my concern is all of the people we're not reaching. That's my biggest fear. Yeah. Matt? Under capitalization. Tell me more. That's my biggest fear. My biggest fear is, is that people were living a too, little bit too much by the seat of their pants, mm -hmm. not paying attention to the details, Maybe, maybe getting a little bit frothy in their, in their rehabs. You need to make sure that everything you're doing from this point on is to create cushion, capitalization. Yeah. We all have big enough portfolios where if rents get cut by 20 or 30%, whatever. Mm -hmm. If 40% of people stop paying, it is what it is. If the economy were to get that bad, we're still all going to be more than okay. And so my concern is, is I remember what it's like in the beginning, oh. number one, number two, number three, and number four, I was undercapitalized. And so when 2007, 2008 hit, I was undercapitalized. And so thankfully, um, much like the office episode through some significant financial maneuvering, I was able to stay alive and make it through that process. That said, that was an extremely stressful time, probably one of the most stressful times in my, my life and in, our, in my marriage. Hmm. And that can make marriages crumble. That can make relationships crumble. So the thing that I would tell you is the next house isn't as important as your existing houses. You Love need that. to make sure that you're perfectly, as well as you can be capitalized, mm -hmm. be a little bit more conservative because I'm telling you what Dion said is true. I promise you, I've seen a seller's market. You're not going to need to look for the seller that wants to really move something. They're going to find you. As much as the phone's been ringing now with people saying, I want to buy a home, want to buy a home, want to buy a home. It's going to be, I want to sell a home. I want to sell a home. I want to sell a home. Yeah. So be well capitalized. That's my, that's my first one. Yeah. So my first one is actually my greatest fear. And that is there's been a lot of people waiting on the sidelines for a crash, hoping for it. We already talked about, 
I think we're in a crash. We can split hairs about what's actually happening, but we're in a crash right now. And my greatest fear is people are going to try to pick the bottom. Yeah. People are going to try to do, they're going to do, they're going to be like, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. And as you both know, I believe in focus and daily discipline and writing great offers. If you don't get prepared, and again, preparation for me is at least 90 days, mm -hmm. you're going to get run over and you're going to miss everything. And then I'm going to have to hear you whine about not buying in 2010 again. Because right. there are going to be, like, I'm already seeing great deals in our Facebook group, Like right? People are going, oh my God, it's here. I just got this. I just got that. Just wait six months. It's going to be even more prevalent. Yes. And yeah. there are going to be people that are hoping, you know, people in their basement that have been talking about a crash, tell them when the bottom is. These idiots haven't bought anything and will ne couldn't see a bottom if it ran them over, mm -hmm. right? Dion and I did a video earlier today talking about my 22 years and all the pivots that I've done. The only way you can make pivots if you're in the market every day and, you're, and, you, and you don't have an ego and you could say, oh, it, things just changed. Time to change my business like I did 30 days ago. So my greatest fear is inactivity. So you'll be hearing me say the word crash a lot. You'll be hearing me talk about uh, offering below asking, uh, writing great offers. It's, it's here. So uh, let's go around one more time. Dion, what do you got next? My biggest fear is having to tell Matt he was right. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there yet, but if I ever have to do that. Close you up to that idea. <laughs> technically, I would be telling both of you you were right, but my fear is telling Matt he was right. So let, let's good. say... Yeah. Total hypothetical question. <laughs> Mike catches his breath. I have a friend yes. who has a portfolio of seven properties and one of the properties is paid off. Last year, to speak to Matt's make sure you're capitalized point, my friend didn't do a cash out refinance at a low interest rate because my friend wanted that cushion that Matt is suggesting today to have. So today, Matt is agreeing with my friend who didn't do a refinance, but my friend has two very successful friends with bigger <laughs> portfolios who have pivoted, who have, are more successful and on several different metrics, told him to refinance, pull the money out to be ready to get the deals that are coming. So my- Your friends told you several times yes. to do this. <laughs> but Matt today confirmed that not doing that and being capitalized was the right call. You're overcapitalized. So here's my fear. A deal pops up that I can't get because my 400,000 needed to be 700,000 and I didn't <laughs> refinance that house. And I will have to, and I will, I will absolutely go. If I find the deal where that was the deal and it would have been a great return and everything, I will come on here and go, Oops. I'm a hat made. <laughs> Matt was right. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest fear. I will, I, I will pay for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that, dude. I lost it. That was so well delivered. Perfection. Perfection. All right, Matt, what about you? Uh, I'd say my other biggest fear is that people are going to see the crack start to happen with contractors mm. and they're going to say, you know what? Now's the time. It's not the time. It's not the time. What do you mean by crack with contractors? So I've had in the last two weeks, three contractors reach back out to me regarding projects that I talked about six oh, yeah. and nine months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to see that you maybe had gotten some quotes before you maybe had considered some of those things before. Mm -hmm. Listen, they had no problem charging me retail plus on everything that I wanted to do. Uh -huh. Now it's my turn. <laughs> so we're going to wait and we're going to wait and we're going to wait. And then we're going to let all three of them bid it because that's America. And so one of the things that people really need to watch out for, and the thing that I'm most concerned with is they're going to say, oh my gosh, we got this quote and it's 20% less than it was the last time we got it. We got to do it now. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. You just don't. So trust me, when we went through 08, 09, and 10, here's what I can tell you. I had people that were charging me in 07, $45 an hour. I was able to negotiate $25 an hour. Some people said, eh, not really worth my time. Enjoy watching Oprah. Mm. Other people said, worth my time because I don't have another option. I'm just going to do the work. And I said, listen, stick with me now. I'll keep you busy now. You do a good job. I'll take care of it. However, 
again, I'll st you can stick with me through doing as many of these projects as you want. And I will, I was three different contractors. I was 50% of their business for two years. Yeah. That was a huge help to them because they even said that put food on my table for two years. Yeah. So my last and final fear is actually having to say Dion was right. <laughs> you guys don't realize Dion and I have a bet. It's a whopping $1. But Dion has said that he thinks interest rates are going to go down by the end of the year. I don't think that's anywhere in the realm of possibility, given the year mark, right? I think it happens, but it's, it's delayed. I think he was early, but it's not, it's not above the realm of possibility that this economy crumbles so fast. Other black swan events happen that the federal reserve has to reverse the little bit that they have done already. And if the fed has to go back to zero has to pump up quantitative easing again, this year, that is frightening because the, the stock market will double, the buy the dip crowd will win, crypto will go to a gazillion, and the dollar will go to freaking zero. The fiat dollar will, it's, that is a legitimate fear because if Dion is right, I think he will be right long term. It was just a timing Ooh. thing. But Ooh. if it happens, that scares me. Yeah. It's, you, it's, it's in the realm of possibilities. I wouldn't say it's probable, but. It's not zero. And that frightens me. I, I totally agree. I think I capped it at 20% or something like that a few weeks ago, because I honestly believe he's not wrong. He's just early, just early. Yeah. And he's not Nick Reventure early. Yeah. He's just yeah. a little bit early. Yeah. So I, I largely see like, this is some of the stuff I see unfolding. And the crazy thing is, is there's literally just a trillions and trillions of dollars of cash that are out there that can be used to buy these amazing risk adjusted assets. Yeah. There just is. Yeah. I don't fear telling either one of you you're right. Yeah. Or that you're wrong. Yeah. Well, I just think about the bigger picture. And also I don't like losing a dollar. So it's just me. <laughs> Dion, where can people find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom, where you can come to my live stream and you can do a super chat to give me that dollar to pay these guys because I think I'm wrong. Super chat. I, I think I got the time wrong. I think it's going to, you know, I, you, I was, I'm watching it. Um, I still stand by it. Like yeah. I, th I think rates are going to come down. I would be shocked now to see it by the end of the year, but I'll, I'll start saving pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to get a plaque made. It's going to be right over my shoulder. Nice. Dion's dollar. <laughs> and, and Matt, how about you? I got a huge wall back there. That dollar is going to look massive. <laughs> A little light set up and everything. Lumber Jack Landlord on YouTube and on Instagram and 1130 AM live streams on Sundays. Very cool. Thanks, guys.